Will mud balls containing effective microbes improve water quality? So what is EM1? EM1 is shown in the photo on the left and it stands for effective microorganisms that can, and it contains three main microorganisms which are listed below. So mud balls are made from mainly brand microorganisms, molasses and dirt, and that photo shows the mud balls that we created. So the conditions of the ponds was that there was foul odor, feces, green water, and garbage, and that's shown on the photo on the right. And we found out the conditions at the upper pond is not as good as those in the lower pond. So for a procedure, we collected three water samples at each station in the pond, and we tested the turbidity, turbidity with the turbidity tube and the pH with the pH meter. We made about 250 mud balls using the mud ball mixture, and we threw these mud balls into the upper pond at each station and also around the ponds. And after two weeks, we observed and measured the pH and turbidity of both the upper and lower pond. The independent variable was the d addition of the mud balls. The, two de the dependent variables are the turbidity and pH. The control is the lower pond. So for turbidity of the upper pond, which is the uh, purple bars, it shows that as time went on, the turbidity values increased, which meant that the water became more clear. And for pH of the upper pond, which are the blue bars, you can see as time went on, the pH values decreased, which meant that the the pH became more acidic and closer to a pH value of 7. Our observations after the mud balls were thrown was that there was still some garbage, but the odor was better and there was a major change in the water color. In conclusion, the mud balls were able to improve the conditions of the upper pond because the, the pH values were lower and the turbidity values were higher. And future research for this could be remediating other environments such as landfills and oceans with oil spills with the right microorganisms. And this is my bibliography.